Do you think that traveling in just 12 minutes from Dubai to Abu Dhabi is a pipe dream? It could seem like a crazy notion. However, the Virgin Hyperloop 1 represents a new age in transportation, and the city is already competing to make this alluring concept a reality. We have provided you with a brief overview of this cutting-edge Marvel and other futuristic Dubai developments. In this video, we are providing you with all the details on the impending Hyperloop 1 project in Dubai today. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and leave a like. Let's get started. Everything you need to know about the Mega Dubai Hyperloop project. The Roads and Transport Authority, RTA, reimagining the future of transportation, is edging closer to launching the world's first Hyperloop in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Virgin Hyperloop 1, the region's first Hyperloop project, will be unveiled in Dubai soon. This multi-billion dollar project, also known as Hyperloop Dubai or the Virgin Hyperloop 1, will cut the commute time between Dubai and Abu Dhabi from almost an hour to 12 minutes. The concept made its premiere in the city in 2019 at the Dubai International Motor Show. The Virgin Hyperloop 1 passenger pod prototype, scaled to actual size, stole the show and gave spectators a sneak peek at the future of driverless transportation. The anticipated completion date for the Hyperloop in Dubai has not yet been determined. What is Virgin Hyperloop 1 and how does it function? Virgin Hyperloop 1 is a quick and simple means of transportation that zips cargo and passengers directly from point A to point B in record time. This ultra-rapid tube system features a hanging capsule made up of numerous passenger cargo pods operating in a near vacuum. The capsule travels at a remarkable speed of up to 1,123 km per hour while consuming very little energy thanks to electric propulsion and magnetic levitation. A patented linear electric motor system, no contact electromagnetism, and extremely low aerodynamic drag enable this. The assumption that follows is that, given the amazing speed of the Hyperloop trains, it might require a lot of energy to go at that rate. Even though the Hyperloop will only use electricity to operate, it will use the least amount of that energy of any moving vehicle. The train will move in an almost vacuum-like tunnel and has a staggering top speed of 1,123 km per hour. Because it relies on magnetic levitation and electric propulsion, the Virgin Hyperloop 1 will move in a suspended capsule and use less energy. The engine will be slightly lifted from its tracks as a result of the entire operation, eliminating friction and increasing the engine's energy efficiency. Zero contact electromagnetism, which is the name of this process, results in little aerodynamic drag. Attractions of the Hyperloop Dubai project. In Dubai, the Virgin Hyperloop 1 system is entirely electric. The noise levels of the pods are substantially lower than those of other modes of transportation and are compared to the sound of, simply a large whoosh. By doing this, noise pollution will be reduced. The speed of the Hyperloop in Dubai will be on par with that of an aeroplane. It is predicted that the highest speed will be 760 miles per hour or 1,123 kilometers per hour. The typical pace may be in the 500 to 600 mile per hour range. The system resizes the fleet of pods according to the number of passengers currently on board, even though it is capable of transporting over 10,000 people an hour in both directions. There are no windows, but there will have interactive entertainment screens on each seat. Elon Musk's connection. The idea for the Hyperloop might have originated in 2013 with the futuristic commute proposed by tech tycoon Elon Musk, which was long thought to be impossible. However, it is now gradually becoming a reality in various parts of the world. The golden capital of architectural innovation in Dubai. It should not be a surprise that it was one of the first places to adopt this form of transportation. Under Musk's direction, Virgin Hyperloop One is manufacturing Hyperloop engines in Dubai and implementing this cutting-edge technology in the USA. In order to keep the Hyperloop trains ahead of the traffic, the Boring Company is in charge of excavating tunnels. It is becoming a reality in developing nations like India thanks to the engineering prowess of the business DGWH Hyperloop. How would Hyperloop Dubai benefit the community? Virgin Hyperloop One has adopted the Hyperloop concept which was first proposed by technology entrepreneur Elon Musk, in order to offer a technology that would soon revolutionize transportation. The main goal is to lessen traffic, pollution, and commuting times. Without having to leave their existing home, family, and way of life behind, residents can access employment opportunities not just in their own city but also in neighboring countries. Therefore, everyone's lives could be changed by this speedy transportation technology. For instance, 
a resident of the more reasonably priced flats for rent in Masafa will be able to commute to Dubai for work in less than 15 minutes. Compared to the typical one and a half hour trip, this is a huge reduction. The UAE's business community will also gain significantly. The primary emphasis is on high priority consumer goods that must be delivered right once, like fresh food and medical supplies. Industries using the Hyperloop will have an effective logistics system with faster delivery of goods over wider distances, which will significantly increase corporate growth. The extremely quick and potent engine. The Hyperloop engine's capacity to move at the quickest speed is its most outstanding characteristic. According to rumors, the Dubai Hyperloop transit system can reach speeds of up to 670 mph. Advanced technology and low traffic levels enable remarkable speed. Either high-altitude capsules or subterranean tunnels are options for the Hyperloop engine's modes of transportation. Another thing that is related to the metro is the underground facility. The additional advantage of Hyperloop trains is that they can go from Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12 minutes as opposed to the customary 90 minutes. The Hyperloop transports both people and freight. In just one hour, it can carry almost 10,000 passengers in both directions. Safety measures. The transportation network is either erected on tall columns or has underground tunnels built right into it, so there is no interaction with wildlife, other cars, or perilous grade crossings. The pods don't need pilots to function because they are completely autonomous and enclosed. By doing this, risk factors like inclement weather and driver error are eliminated. The puncture-proof, robust, and durable steel used to construct the tubes through which the pods will travel can endure fluctuations in atmospheric pressure. There will be exits for emergencies in each pod. How is Hyperloop Dubai entirely different from that of high-speed trains? Metro trains have numerous stops and run on a set schedule. In contrast, Hyperloop Dubai carries people directly to their destination without making any stops along the way, leaving on demand whenever the passengers are prepared to travel. It also runs at a speed that is two to three times that of the quickest train. Hyperloop Dubai Speed According to the pods that were presented at the Motor Show, the Hyperloop's top speed from Abu Dhabi to Dubai is an astounding 1,123 km per hour. The best benefits of riding in a Hyperloop train. First off, the technology that powers the Hyperloop engines is incredibly environmentally benign. It aids in energy conservation reduces carbon emissions, and prevents air and noise pollution because it uses electricity and enclosed capsules to travel. The flight mode is now the swiftest form of public transportation on the planet. However, while in flight, aeroplanes produce a lot of noise. The Virgin Hyperloop One's silent journeys are one of its smart features. In addition, it is superior to the metro in terms of area and beauty as well as speed. The compartments for the Hyperloop have highly attractive and futuristic designs. Additionally, regular trains and metros have set departure and arrival schedules. There will be a station for the Hyperloop, called the Gateway. Instead of waiting for the train to depart at a specific hour, passengers can conveniently use the ride whenever they like. Test at Nevada Base, and it will soon arrive. For the first time, passengers were aboard the Hyperloop during testing. At its Nevada Base, Virgin Hyperloop conducted the passenger onboard test. One of the most anticipated forms of public transportation in the UAE is the Hyperloop. Once operational, the Hyperloop will make it possible to travel quickly between Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Hyperloop Dubai launch date and ticket costs. Dubai's Hyperloop is currently being built. Phase 2 work is also being addressed as the first phase of the project, which entails feasibility studies in Dubai for various Hyperloop lines, proceeds. Although the cost of the tickets has not yet been disclosed, it is expected to be reasonable. To conclude the video, Dubai's mega project Hyperloop One is currently the most ambitious project for Dubai as well as the whole world. It's just a matter of time before you will be able to cover 140 km distance in just 12 minutes. You just blink your eye and reach your destination. That's it, guys. If you found this video helpful and informative, do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a like and pin down your thoughts in the comment section below. Till then, see you all. Bye bye.